Friday. All day. <laughs> I've been waiting on Friday this week. It's been a long week. Waiting on Friday since Monday morning. That's right? it. Well, how's the Matco world? Got a new card on here? We do have a, a new cart. We got another new cart coming in. Uh, it should be at the DC uh, probably either today or Monday. Um, and then we have an, a uh, what they call a mega meeting with Mako coming up too. So we should have uh, some good stuff coming from it. So excited to see what happens there. That's good. Well, how's life been treating you? It's been treating us good. Um, I mean, we're healthy, we're here, the kids are good, so I'd say that's pretty good, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I still got the pry bars, any color. We have plenty of pry bars. We got screwdrivers, ratchets. If you, if you want any of the above, it's all there. That's um, good. Lots of it too. Well, is the purple out selling the blue or is the blue still more popular? From everything I've heard, especially on my truck, um, the blue is still more popular than the purple. Uh, I knew when they had mentioned the purple that the purple will, um, would probably go a little bit slower um, than the blue just because for whatever reason, um, people don't think that the purple is you know a guy's color. So right. I have I have several guys on the route that, that love purple. So I mean, it, it doesn't matter. You know, Bill loved purple. He had a yeah. big old purple toolbox. You know? I don't have anything wrong with purple. But, I'm a purple uh, fan. As I liked purple a lot when I was a kid because you're probably too young to remember. Barney. No, I remember. No, not Barney. This is pre Barney. Oh, pre Barney. Well, yeah, yeah. I Barney didn't. was like your generation. Yeah. My generation didn't have Barney. But we did have the McDonald's characters. So y'all might be too young to remember them. They had the Hamburglar and Grimace and, of course, Ronald McDonald and all of that. I remember Ronald McDonald, but I don't remember the other ones. Yeah, they had a... Uh, that was kind of my generation there. That tells you how old I am. Yeah. But I remember when Barney came out because my brother's baby, which is my niece, like, that was the new thing then was Barney, yeah. you know, and I thought, God, this is... It's gonna rot this child's brain, you know, <laughs> watching this stuff. It's crazy how stuff um, changes over the years because mm -hmm. the stuff that, or the shows that I like to watch as a kid, or like to watch as a kid, my kids have no idea what that is. And if you sit them down for an episode of that, they're like, What's, what, why are they doing that? What's that? Yeah. They don't. Like I remember on Saturday mornings, they used to have all the cartoons that come on, you know, and. So they still do on uh, DirecTV. It's, well, it's, I think it's either MeTV or something like that. They have the Bugs Bunny and mm -hmm. all the original come on, not the new ones, because they've redone them a couple of times, but they got the originals that come on and stuff like that. Like in my day, like they don't even have these cartoons anymore. It was like He-Man and then Space Ghost flash oh, yeah. and all that kind of stuff you know and that's all thing yeah, of the past it's definitely different now yeah but either way we so. do have a new light this week okay um, we love some lights it's the slayer pro um it carries good in your pocket it does have the indentions here um, a lot of people carry it just like that there I like to flip it over. I like to feel it up better. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I guess it's how, however you want to carry it, but it does have the indentions. And then we do have a pocket clip, a good sturdy pocket clip with that. Yeah. First button is your light modes. Your second, you can set your memory. Uh, it does have several different modes. Uh, it has uh, flood, medium and high, spot, flood, low, and a turbo. So this is sort of like their version of the wedge, I guess. Yes. Yeah, this is their version. Um, your lumens on flood medium is 205. On uh, high flood is 380. Your spot's 540. Uh, then they have a flood low that's only 42 lumens. Now, okay. on the turbo, it's 1150 lumens. But 
it does say uh, in the instructions here uh, n if you do repeatedly uh, switch it to the turbo because turbo is like a 30 second and then it goes all right um, if you do constantly swap to that 30 second it can uh, overheat and damage the LEDs um, so just throw that out there because I don't want people thinking sure. hey, I will buy this and run it on turbo all the time right. um, because it's not made for that and it does say that it can damage it so we'll throw that out there but it's a nice slim light I like it because it's a it is a little bit bigger than the stylus pros and stuff like that mm -hmm. um, but it is the same as in the length uh, and it seems to fit well in your hand carry well uh, plus it has the options to go to that turbo uh, if you're trying to look down in the engine bay right quick you can swap it over to that and then it'll automatically go back to the other settings so okay a couple different options there so what's the battery life on that thing uh, it's, uh flood medium is four hours and 15 minutes flood high is two hours and 30 minutes if you do the spot feature um which is 540 lumens it's two hours and 30 minutes so That's really good um, for that high lumens they do not set a battery um time for the turbo because like i said it's 30 seconds and then right. back off so they it's not meant to run on that but um overall a good light it gives you a bunch of options um, a good looking light good feeling light so nice. if you're in the market for one there is that so how is it priced compared to the to the wage uh i'll let her type it in and see i got these in yesterday so mm -hmm. Cause I know that's what everybody's gonna be comparing it to, you know, price wise and feature wise and size wise. Uh oh, you done got some other brands traded in back here. We do. I've been got, doing some wheeling and dealing, ain't you? We have. We we get trade ins, um, and they they usually sell pretty good. Uh, it looks like this light is showing in the computer retail in about uh, 130. Okay. So, I mean, not bad for a light. So it's going to be cheaper than the wage. Right. Yep. But that's not all. So we also have something else new um, that I want to show. It's a heavy duty aluminum uh, digital tire inflator. Okay. 220 psi. It is an all aluminum body. It does have a clip that can clip on and swivel. It does read in your PSI, KPA, uh, all that good stuff. Um, it says that it can withstand being run over. Okay. Um, so that's, Somebody will definitely try that out, I'm sure. Well, that's the only thing. <laughs> on, our, uh, on our other, our DT6s and stuff like that, um, if you drop them, they will definitely mess up the... Um, yeah, the screen and stuff like that so this one being uh, heavy duty uh, I hope that it has uh, a little bit more withstand on that now the DT6 is a great inflator um, but they do have where if you drop them but this one has good weight which I know y'all can't feel it you can tell it is heavy duty um, there's the hose that I was talking about that does swivel nice. does lock on you got you can uh, when you hook it up to air the gauge will automatically come on um, but you can also cut it on right here. Mm -hmm. So good heavy duty design. So it's nice. I like it. Like I said, we got these in last night, so I haven't. Um, Y'all are the first people to see it as far as on my route goes. So I haven't sure. got a lot of feedback from the customers. The customers always give me um, a lot of opinions and and they open your eyes to a lot of stuff. So right. um, I'm sure somebody uh, uh, help me in some way to, to know if it's good, bad, or ugly. But um, I like the color, I like the design, and I like this heavy duty, so. Yeah, I like the, that spring they put all the way down it too. Keep yeah. It kinking up. Yeah, it keeps from kinking up, but it also keeps that, um, that hose from uh, catching as much damage. Right. Obviously, if it's something sharp, it's, it's gonna cut it, but. Um, it does keep that hose from inking up and everything. So if you're in the market for a, a tire inflator, that might be it. Um, I don't think this is going to be your everyday, um, just using it, you know, once in a while thing. Right. I think it's going to be more of like your quick lube. Um, or if you work in a big 
a heavy duty uh, shop or something like that, mm -hmm. I think this is the one you go to. Uh, yeah, if you had a way that you could take that end off and put a, one of the dual chucks on it, you know, that would be perfect for a big truck shop. I haven't tried it, but it looks like the same end that's on the DT6. And uh, I know with the DT6, you can take the deal off and mm -hmm. you can put the double on there. Uh, so I'm sure you can. I haven't tried it, so I'm not gonna say that yeah. I'm 100% certain, but I know on the, the, the other ones that we sell, I have swapped them over for customers. That way they can do that. So if I'm, if I'm right, which I think I am, uh, I think you'll be able to swap that out, no problem. That'd be good, and that way a guy can just stick it on there and do the internal wheels and external wheels all in one rig. That's it, and I know uh, on, especially when they're airing those up, when they're replacing them, uh, they like to put the one on there that they can just lock on and walk mm -hmm. away for a minute. Um, so that that's not this one, obviously, but when you're just doing a quick check or really coming in and you're just airing it up a little bit, this would be this would be perfect for that so yep it's just not going to be the one that you check tire pressure every other you know well i won't check it today and it'll be six months but sure two new good tools so that's good well that's uh the coast light's really cool i'm proud that somebody come out with something a little more affordable than uh the wedge light because i think that's the only thing that kills that light is the price you know well and coast is um they they've tried to come out with a lot of new stuff, so they're they're constantly watching the market, seeing what they can do and adjust. So I, I think they've hit a home run with that one. Well, we're gonna see. Uh, I put it in my pocket this morning, and I've been carrying it this morning. Um, you can't even really tell it's in your pocket. Right. And having that option to go from, you know, I don't think you're gonna use the lowest lumens but if you stay on the spot which is 540 that's already more than the rechargeable uh stylus mm -hmm. so you're already ahead of that one and then if you do need it brighter than that uh you swap to the 1100 i mean that's that's not going to do that it's like having two flashlights in one yep. i like that about the wedges also also but like you said the wedges are a little bit more expensive mm -hmm. um, we're going to see the quality of it i know somebody's going to say yeah but is the quality but we're going to see i mean it feels like sure. it's built well it, i mean it everything shows that it's built well and and coast normally is so i i'm not going to say that you know they have a history of no they seem to be built well they right. had good history so um time will tell and i'll be the first one to be honest mm -hmm. and say Hey. Well, I know I bought one of those little AR, A9R pin lights, you know, the little inspection lights, and man, that thing was fantastic. Yeah. And I, I mean, the only reason it still ain't working is because the battery finally went bad, and I just need to order another battery. Right. Know, so yeah. Good lights. And, I mean, as far as, I know I keep going back to the Streamlight, but that's normally what I sell. I sure. sell a bunch of the Streamlight, the Streamlight Pros, uh, Stylus Pros, rechargeable, and mm -hmm. the battery. The only issue that I'm having with them, those are great lights but the LED will get to where it flashes, mm -hmm. um, which they take care of it. I mean, they send you, you send it in, they send you a new light, yep. everything's good. So, but I'm just wondering if, I wanna see, does this one- Hold um, up. Hold up, is it gonna have uh, any issues like that or anything else? What's really gonna be the tall tale sign is this one, The I sell the rechargeable for like 88, um, this one's only a few more dollars. I mean, I know 129, you know, but either way, for 40 bucks, if you're not having that LED flash mm -hmm. and sending it in, that would be a good investment in my opinion, so. Absolutely. I'm gonna show this one. If it don't sell by the end of the day, I'm probably gonna keep it and just order another one for the truck. Okay. Um, everybody needs a, a good flashlight, even a two of these, No so. kidding. All right, well, thank you guys for coming by and letting us see all the new stuff and Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down there. If you're not subscribed, you take your finger, click the button. You have a great weekend. See ya.